Hello everyone, this is Lorik, you're on the Drake's Horde, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Uh, since the last episode, I was able to alter a few settings. Um, I noticed that my volume and stuff wasn't so great in the last video. Um, I'm sorry about not being able to edit the audio in the last one very much, especially so you can hear me in some cases. Um, I accidentally recorded in a setting that I'm not able to do that. It's fixed now. Hopefully, if we have some overbearing audio, I can actually uh, bring it back some through my audio editor and everything else. Uh, yeah, hopefully we won't have any more issues with that. Now, um, if you notice, during this gameplay session, um, I actually have PS4 button prompts. So, funny thing about From Software and making this game for the PC, they actually included PS4 button prompts in the game. However, for the PC release, they disabled them. Um... I'm not gonna say precisely how I re-enabled them. Um, it's not shady or anything else, but I, I don't know how From Software like deals with stuff like that. So I'm just gonna say that yes, I am using a mod. No, it doesn't uh, break anything. No, it doesn't change any gameplay elements or anything else like that. It simply re-enables how uh, PS4 stuff is used for my PS4 controller. Um, it does mass mess up uh, a little bit graphically in my menu for my options. Um, you see how everything doesn't line up uh, over there exactly, like perfectly. Um, but they didn't finalize it this way. This is not... Um, from software's fault, except for the fact that they didn't like release uh, PS4 stuff on the PC. Um, but uh, this is me enable uh, basically doing a forced enable through a mod. Um, so you are you won't have to worry too much about this. Everything is gonna line up in the game like it's supposed to. It's just not going to look pretty in my settings. Um, but just giving you a heads up because I I know I complained about it in the last video. Someone came out with a mod really quickly that solved that issue for me. Um, I don't think it'll be too much of a problem now. Um, we'll see when updates come out and how From Software deals with any sort of like complaints or anything else like that. We'll see. If if they actually add the support in there, that would be fantastic. I'd gladly get rid of the mod, but at the moment I feel more comfortable using the mod because I don't click random buttons and it doesn't waste your guys' time. Alright, enough talking for now. Let's continue the game. So, I gotta figure out what I need to do and where I need to go. Oop. And I'm already making mistakes. Let's just get seen by everybody. Um, so... We came down from over there, I think. And we're going this direction. That guy's, like, really wise to me. Um, at least he's not telling his friends. So, I think I'll go down here. a very pleasant sound, but I guess dying isn't very pleasant either. So, uh, oh, if I miss anything, uh, be sure to comment down below, tell, uh, tell me what an idiot I am. Maybe I'll go back and see what you guys are talking about. Um, 
I like I like to explore and everything. Oops. Hey guy. Wow, he just absolutely wrecked me, of course. Of course I'm not paying attention very much, apparently. Um so you know what? Let me let me get back into the swing of things. I'm sorry guys. I'm a casual. I know I need to get good. So let's see if I can acquiesce to that. <sighs> I still I still love that animation so much. Get the money. Okay. I think there's guys to the right there. Yep, who's that guy? Ouch. Okay. Let's not just randomly do that. There's guys that'll see me immediately if I try to murder him. Okay. Gosh darn it. He can at least really freaking far. Still getting used to gameplay. So I'm mostly gonna act like a ninja. Like I'm supposed to. And murder these guys. What is. What is that doing there? Is that like a little bagged lunch or something? Did I kill this guy when. <laughs> he was having lunch or something, or did I pick that up last episode? It might be something I picked up last episode. Come on, stop doing that. So. Oh, I can get one of them, but I'm going to have to deal with the other guy as soon as I get him, aren't I? You know what? Let's go for it. Ash? Okay. Sorry for anyone who's a who's a dog lover that 
watches this. I, ha I had to do what had to be done. Hopefully... Did I, did I reach all the way over here and get this guy's money? I need to remember to do that. Got more pellets. Yes, I'm getting... Getting much more good items here. Also, if you hear any whining in the background, I'm currently house-sitting. And... The little puppy is upset that he's in timeout. Because he tried to run away, and running away equates to almost getting hit by cars and traffic. feel really bad if anything happened to that dog, especially on my watch. But he's he's alright. He we we just live in this neighborhood. I don't want him running into the street and doing bad things like that. Oh. Apparently I wasn't stealthy. Anyway, I was saying, he's he's a really nice puppy. He just needs to learn a little bit more. Can't go running off. Now if I rest here, everyone revive. Screw it. I'm, I'm gonna try. Is everyone back up and running? I see the dog over there. I see the dog over there. Feels so bad. Whoop. Where is he? Where is he? Pretty sure those dogs can tear me a new one. Come on. I am glad they don't have a stamina mechanic in this game because I feel like I would be in a lot of trouble if it did. Is this so I can just look and see what's going on over here? I think that's it. I think it's not going to let me just straight up fall off if you just go to the ledge. That's good to know. Oh. Wow, my, my camera got real janky when I did that. Okay. What in here I should worry about? Shuriken wheel. A uh, mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen can be fit into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it is palm sized, a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel as the edges were designed for stacking. A fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with a Shinobi talent. Fitting prosthetic tools. Shinobi tools can't be used on their own. By giving to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic. You can quickly return to the sculptor via travel from a sculptor's idol or by using a homeward idol. Oh! I think I'm gonna do that. So yeah, that sounds really nice. Let's go do that. still have like a secondary weapon. I still don't know how they treat them in this game. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's a bunch of charms on the wall. 
Gods. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Fitting prosthetic tools. Regular shinobi tools found in the world can be especially adapted to the shinobi prosthetic via the fit prosthetic tools menu. Okay. So, let's just shove the shurikens in there. And now... Yeah. So... No matter what I do, any Buddha I carve is an incarnation of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You will understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So... Need something? Yes, no, right. I, I think we'll do anything. I think we're good for I, the second prosthetic tool. Prosthetic tools are shinobi tools adapted for use with the shinobi prosthetic. They can be equipped in the equipment menu. Using them consumes spirit emblems. So, I currently don't have spirit emblems. Prosthetic tool equipment slots have been unlocked. There are three slots available to equip and switch out prosthetic tools as needed. The controls can be used through triangle? So we put that in there. And now that I have that... Oh, you throw shurikens using R2. But I don't have any of the little special things. Um, Can you help me with it? What the heck? Spirit Emblems. Spirit Emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools or consume each time these abilities are used. Spirit Emblems can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptors idols if you pass near them they they will find their way to you so wait oh so i can buy them from here um oh except it's probably going to be a lot better if i don't buy them get them from enemies. Um, it says I can get about 16 of them. It said I already had like two. Um, excuse me if people are yelling me at me right now. I think, I think I'll keep some money on hand. Um, but I will spend like a hundred for that. I, I, either or, if you're yelling at me because I bought them or yelling at me because I didn't buy enough. Um, okay. I'm sure you could switch them out with triangle. Oop. Oop. <sighs> I don't. I don't like 
killing dogs. big guy in the background over there. Um, is there anything interesting? Okay. Oh! There's a big rooster up here. They do give me little scraps of that stuff. Oh, and this just leads back the way I came. I'm pretty sure anyway. Oop! Nope. Oh, this is this is oh wait. No, I did come from over here. It's just <laughs> of of course I get myself turned around. Okay. So, can actually drop down in there. This is, this is like, above where I was. Okay, more pellets. Awesome. Means more emergency healing. Sorry, I'm trying not to move the camera too quickly. I'm just checking things out as I move along. Oop. So there's that guy. Um. Is there any way to get behind him? Yes, I think there might be. Is there anyone in there? I don't think so. Oh, he's going to be a challenge, isn't he? Oh, well, let's see. Perilous attacks. Some enemies are unguardable. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks signified with the danger symbol. When these occur, watch carefully, trying to respond properly as each type requires a specific response. L1 as blade thrust lands to deflect. X before sweep lands jump. Circle before grab lands step dodge. Okay. So, unless they try to grab me, mostly deflecting or jumping. Or, or you can just attack the hoop. Ouch. My first time. Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. Resurrection. The Divine Heir's blood grants the ability to return from dead using resurrected power. One charge is always restored by resting in a sculptor's idol. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it, but killing enemies will make it available again. Okay. Oh. Gosh darn it. Well, I died, died this time. Great.
Oh, that's the resurrection mechanic. I just need to get better. Loss upon death. Experience towards the next skill point and current sent in hand or halved on death. Everything is lost. Everything is gone. Everything lost is gone for good. There are no means to escape this. However, through the grace of the gods or Buddha, it may it may not be impossible. Okay, so I lost I lost XP and I lost money. Careful. Um, I heard there might be heftier consequences for death, but I'm not exactly sure what those are. So, we'll see. I really want to kill this guy, though. Ouch. Of course, he does sweep the leg. Maybe I'll try using the shuriken on that guy. Okay. Gosh darn it. I swear I like hit it when he does. If I die too many times, I'll just 
I'll tell you how many times I died, and I'll uh, I'll just skip over them. It's becoming a little bit frustrating for me. I swear I'm not this bad at video games. <clears throat> get into the flow of things, really, I think. Not hitting it correctly, apparently, it's causing it. Well, at least it's letting me dodge that, but now I'm just busting. the number of uses we have for our healing item, which is nice. New training options available. I might do that real quick as well. Hmm. What is it? As I thought. The difference is slight, and I can only see it from up close. What is it? Dragon's blood stagnation. I believe you're showing its symptoms. Stagnation? Dogen, my mentor, spoke of it once. The power of the dragon's heritage stagnates if the one who uses it dies repeatedly. When the stagnation has built up too much, it overflows. What happens when it overflows? Diseases spread, apparently. I hope this is just me being unnecessarily cautious. But if you should notice anything alarming... Yes, I'll come see you. I don't like that. Hmm. Yes. Like what? I died. The Divine Heir's voice reached out to me, and suddenly I was alive again. So you died, and now you're alive again. So that means it has to do with resurrection. Resurrection? Lord Kuro. It's said to be a power of the Divine Heir's dragon heritage. Those who have been given the power of resurrection. They are revived upon death, repeatedly. Impossible. Yes, it is rather strange, and yet, it is happening here and now. Let me know if you notice any more changes. I don't think the power of resurrection comes without a cost. Okay, um, yeah, go, go Dark Souls. <laughs> More, more death and revival, um, except this one is more immediate. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Is this a gourd seed? Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. Such a strange medicine. Is it strange? I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration, whether it's strange or not. That's what my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. 
I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. Goodbye. Well, I definitely appreciate the gourd seeds. So... You need... If you want more... I'm just checking on you, man. I've been hear hearing from her about spreading disease and stuff like that. Uh, just hoping bad things don't come from it. What? Okay. I'll, co I'll come back into this cave in a little bit. I don't understand why I didn't come that direction. Um, or go that direction, I mean. Um... I will in a minute, uh, but he says he has new practice for me. And I definitely need it. Oh, it's you. You may use me to hone your swordsman. Consecutive deflections. In that case, I... Deflecting once doesn't always mean an enemy will stop attacking. Consecutive attacks can be countered with the consecutive deflections, which can greatly damage enemy posture. Deflect all enemy attacks and perform three death blows. Okay. Still, ouch. Me okay, again. I get that, but... Excellent. I expect no less of you. Vitality and posture. I am really glad that they decided to add this tutorial stuff in this game. It is so much, it's so very different from Dark Souls or Bloodborne or any other Souls like kind of game. <clears throat> Ouch. Being an idiot, dodge out of the way when he freaking runs to you. Lock those. Come on. Okay. Face me again. I just need. <laughs> I need to stop panicking. Is what I need to do. Like, there's some cases where you can actually attack him while he's trying to attack you. Performing a thrust before they do it. So I actually have to see them perform a thrust. And I'll be able to deflect them. Whereas if they do a sweep the leg, I have to see the sword go across and I have to jump over it. If they try to tackle me or grab me or whatever, case, I need to dodge I stand with your... Which is what he's showing me in the, la the other one because he kept tackling me. Emit air near enemy jump kick. So, oh, okay. Need to jump at them if I'm 
gonna do that. Come on. So that's how you can get back at them for doing something like that. Okay. That is really cool. I just need to remember how to do this in, like, actual combat. Okay. But I can't, I can't be stuck mid attacking animation while I'm doing this. Ah, gosh darn it, I did it way, but I did that. Face me again. Cool, okay. Yes. Splendidly done. So sometimes it's not about now. Let's begin. Jumping yes. away, it could be jumping towards your opponent as well when you do that. me again. Satisfying match. Being killed for a worthy purpose was a bit refreshing. One okay. little thing. Mind going a little easier on me? This actually hurts quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I will I'm apologize. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't hold back for a minute. Slice and stab away. All right. <laughs> what? I'm just glad that my curse is of use to someone. Feels as if there could be a purpose to it after all. Yeah, Come so back whenever you like. If you have tech I think I think uh if you guys don't care very much for seeing me practice, um I'll uh, I'll start doing those in between game uh videos basically. Um if if you have any opinions about that please comment below. Um I will probably do some practicing. I'll probably do some practicing, like, between videos anyway, just so I can get a little bit more used to the combat. Um, I, I won't. I won't do regular practicing during the videos unless it's like a new practice thing or someone else tells me that I shouldn't. What, what is this? What is this? This is sealed from the other... Wait. So are you supposed to, like, hug the wall with those things? Okay. Whatever. Again, if you if you hear my dog whining in the background, it's my uh, it's my aunt's lab. He's a he's a little uh, overgrown puppy. Um, I think I think he's starting to want out. Um, I'll let him out in a little bit. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't try to run off again because I really don't want him getting lost or anything else that might happen to him. So 
does it uh, respawn? It doesn't look like it. Are the dogs getting annoyed with me? Um, no. No, they aren't. Okay. So like I said before, minimal editing, editing in this. If people are wondering why I kept me dying a frick ton in it. Also, I don't know, it might be refreshing to see how much a person freaking just sucks at this when they first start out. Heck, I'm learning. Every, everyone had to start somewhere. This means that they need to practice and do better. Oh, there, there are a lot of people around here. Um... Well... I'm thinking maybe they don't hear me. Or heck, I could. He goes back. I could just drop down and hide in there until he comes for me. What? I don't think you guys would find that very interesting, now, would you? Um. So, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to jump down there and get the guy with the hat first. This battle, do you think it can be won? I fear we may not prevail. What? We'll be just fine. Look, Ishin may be sick, but he's still going strong. Genichiro is a terror with the bow. And of course, we have Giyobu the demon. Ah, Giyobu, of course. Good point. As long as he's with us, no man should ever breach the Ashina Castle gate. That's so cool that you can just, like, listen to these guys sitting around and doing whatever. Well, I'm sorry, man. You gave me valuable information, but, uh, you gotta go. Oh, there's a guy with a gun. There's a guy with a gun. with a gun. Where is he? He's right there. Okay. Um. Are they going to be coming for me? Okay, let's... Ouch! Oh, you can deflect bullets? Heck yeah. Oh, and there's that guy, frick. Oh, there's just so much going on. Okay, grab that. Uh, ceramic shard, used for distractions and stuff like that. Oh, the big guy's coming for me now, and they're chucking stuff at me. I don't appreciate that. Oh, there's a lot of guys coming for me. <laughs> there, there is way too many guys coming for me. Um, Hopefully they lose interest in me. They are a little bit the big guy over there. It doesn't look like he wants to lose too much in there he goes. Okay. Um wow. Well, I guess that's why you're a ninja, not some samurai or something. Ooh. Ooh, big guy's coming out. Um, 
Um, so it means I can probably get him. I think they like slowly heal over time if you leave them alone. Okay, this is, uh, this is getting a little intense. Is he a one hit? Oh, of course he is. Yes. Okay. Pick that up. Pick it up. Pick it up. What is it? Oh, I had to hold the rabbit. Uh, Mibu Possession Balloon. A Mibu Balloon filled with fountainhead water imbued with Blessing of Fortune. If one pops his vibrant green... Ebu balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will have a higher chance of attaining items. Ebu means aquatic life or life born of the water. The Sheena considered the fountainhead water itself to be worthy of worship. Okay. Um, I might have to sh cut this video a little short just because the dog wants out. Um, like I said, I don't know if you hear him or not, so sorry. It's like a punching a dog. And you're like, what dog? I don't hear anything. Um, don't notice me. Um, eh, I guess it's not too short. It's, it's almost an hour anyway. Like I said, if you guys want me to do some more cutting and stuff like that, uh, Tell me um, if you don't want to see like me fighting a bunch of mooks or whatever. Um, I'll uh, I might do a little bit of cutting to uh, some uh, other bits, but uh, mo mostly I want to I I actually really want to leave like most of this in the video because I know some people are like oh what do you do from then uh, now and then and everything else and. Uh, I like knowing some of that sometimes too, and it gets a little frustrating when you can't see that. So, uh, there's still so many people prowling around. Um, you know what? I'll check the look around. What? What? Do they all just notice me all of a sudden? What's going on here? Oop. Um, I have no clue what's going on. Oh. Guy with a gun trying to get me. What's this? Coins. Awesome. Money. Where are you? Okay, I'm get up there. Or run away. I don't care. Too many people to deal with. I'm a little curious why he wasn't attacking me. Okay. Um. I'm gonna scope out real quick and see if I can't see another. Uh. Buddha. Idol. Thing. Um. Oh, there. Who is that? Um, if I can't find anything, I'm probably just gonna call it quits here. Who is that up there? Can I... Can I grapple up there? Also, as you can see, I don't think you have fall damage in this game because I fell like a really high height. What is that? 
tell me that's a talkable person. If it's some demon lady I have to go kill, I'm not going to be very happy. Hi. Oh, is that you, Inosuke? My son, have you seen the young master? Hmm. What? Nothing to say? Does your stomach hurt or something? You always had a weak stomach. Hmm. Well, anyway, take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Please, offer it to Buddha for his sake. Okay, um, thank you. Young Lord's Bell Charm. A charm, a bell charm received from an old woman who asked that if it be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves in the own owner of another's bell charm. Offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculpture at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. Oh! You know what? I think... I think that's telling me that I should probably cut this and see what that does in the next episode. Okay. Also, yeah, I know, I'm so professional just, like, doing small talk during this, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is a very new experience for me, um, I hope you guys find some enjoyment in it, um, even if I'm getting my butt kicked. Uh, if you have anything to add what I should do, uh, please comment down below, um, this should be posted or uploaded, like, right after first video uh, that I put down. Um, and uh, that th this there they'll be like together within like 24 hours or so. Um, like I said before with my other videos on this channel, I have a hard time uploading. Uh, simply because of my internet speed and everything else. And now I'm over at my uh, aunt and uncle's place, uh, house-sitting for them. And it's going to be even more a pain in the butt. So... Oh, okay. So, next time, we'll see what the bell does. Um, I'm sorry if it's anticlimactic and it just gives me something. Um, but I guess we'll see next time. Um... See you guys later. Bye.